Hi, let's solve for the value of x and y in this particular equation, okay? Um, so we have that 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of y is equal to 15,750. Now let's square both sides of this equation, okay? Now we have a plus b squared, a plus b squared. And algebra is same thing as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, okay? That means if we should relate this to what we have, then we are going to have that 5x to the power of 2, right? That is our a squared, 5x squared plus 5y squared, 5 to the power of y squared plus 2 multiplied by a and b. That is 5 to the power of x multiplied by 5 to the power of y is equal to, now 15750 can be expressed as what? 15625 plus 125. Yes, if you add this to this, you are going to get this. All right. Now, there's a reason for that. Let's just keep going. Everything squared. So looking at this now, we have what? This is, if you use our law of exponents, the law states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times what? n, all right? So that means that we can write this as 5 raised to the power of x times 2 will give us 2x plus 5 raised to the power of y times 2, which is 2y plus 2 brackets. Now, 5x so, uh, multiply by 5y. We are going to pick one 5 and we are going to add the powers following the law of what? Indices or exponents. All right, because this and this are the same base, just pick one base and add the powers. Is equal to, now, 15625 is 5 to the power of 6 plus 125 is 5 to the power of 3 squared. Okay, so let's continue. Now we have 5 to the power of 2x plus 5 to the power of 2y, plus 2 multiplied by 5. Now, x plus y is what? 9. So, this is 5 to the power of 9 is equal to, so we have a, a plus b squared here again. So, if we should open this bracket, then we have 5 to the power of 6 squared, right? 5 to the power of 6 squared, plus 5 to the power of 3 squared, 5 to the power of 3 squared, plus 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of 6 multiplied by 5 to the power of 3, right? All right. Now, okay, let's continue. If we look at what we have here now, let's express this in this form. So I decided to turn like this so that I will write better. I don't actually, I can't write well in the other way around. Okay, so we have, let me write out what we have so that everybody will follow. So 5 to the power of 2x plus 5 to the power of 2y plus 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of 9 is equal to 5 to the power of 6 squared plus 5 raised to the power of 3 squared plus 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of 6 multiplied by 5 to the power of 3. So that is exactly what we have here. Okay, so this implies 5 to the power of 2x plus 5 to the power of 2y plus 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of 9 is equal to, so this is going to be 5. 6 times 2 is 12, right? Plus, or let's just leave it this way. I have my reason for that. Plus 5 to the power of 3 squared plus 2 down. We are going to pick one base as usual, right? 2 bracket 5. Then we will add the power 6 plus 3 is 9. Okay, now, notice something. We have 2 bracket 5 to the power of 9 here, and we have 2 bracket 5 to the power of 9 here, and they have the same sign. That means if I should transfer this to this side, it becomes minus, and this minus this will be 0, right? So that automatically means that what we have here is 5 to the power of 2x plus 5 to the power of 2y is equal to 5 to the power of 6 squared, plus 5 to the power of 3 squared. So this and this we cancel out. 
Now, permit me to clean this. Okay? Now, if this is the first time you're seeing this face, please subscribe to the channel on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. I always upload my videos normally in the morning around 9 p.m. what time and in the evening around between 8 and 9. Yeah. So, always look out for my notification. Thank you. Now, this is what we have. Because a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn. So, that simply means that you can interchange the position of this without effect affecting the result, right? That means I can write this to be a to the power of n raised to the power of m. If I still open this bracket, I'll get this. Therefore, let's do that switch here. Let's do that switch here. That means this implies that this can be written as 5 to the power of x squared, right? Plus, and this can be written as 5 to the power of uh, y squared, yeah. Is equal to 5 to the power of 6 squared plus 5 to the power of 3 squared. Okay, now by comparison, by comparison, you can see that 5 to the power of x squared is equal to 5 to the power of 6 squared. All right? And 5 to the power of y squared is equal to 5 to the power of 3 squared by comparison, right? Okay. Now, looking at this, we can now equate that our x is equal to 6, right? x is equal to 6 and that our y is equal to 3. Y is equal to 3. Now, don't worry. Let's check. Let's check. The second equation says that x plus y is equal to 9. Let's see if this will go for it. That x plus y is equal to 9. So this implies that our x is 6, right? And our y is 3. Is equal to 9. And this is actually true. So this simply means that our solution is right. If you watch to this place, just tell me I did in the comment section. And I'm going to give you a hug for that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.